So the first question, or the first thing we'd like you to state is, state your name and your position here at State Division. Uh, my name is Bruce Smith. I am the CEO and founder of Safety Vision. So I really started my entrepreneurship when I was in college. I started the restaurant and bar my junior year. I ran that for my last two years of college, really to pay for my education. So I always had that entrepreneurial spirit. When I graduated, I went to go work for a Fortune 50 company called Motorola. I worked there for five years, and as I progressed through succeeding in the company, it was time for me to move to the corporate headquarters, which is in Schaumburg, Illinois. And being a Texas boy, I didn't really want to move outside of Texas. My girlfriend at the time, my wife today, we talked about moving to Schaumburg and she told me, you know, enjoy yourself, good luck, but I'm not moving. So uh, after giving that some thought, I started thinking, okay, I, I need to look around for another opportunity. Let's, let's just see if there's anything else available. I ran into a gentleman that had this camera in his hand and we're at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and he's banging this camera on a concrete floor and he's dipping it in a fish tank just to show the camera is durable enough to withstand that type of that kind of scrutiny that kind of you know environment but really the importance of the camera was to show you that we have visibility behind a vehicle versus just the size of the vehicle with a with mirrors when I saw this, I thought, what a great idea. So I started talking to him and come to find out he wanted to set up indirect distribution and he had no distributors at the time. So I introduced him to a couple of my key accounts and within probably 30 to 45 days, we set up a pilot and the pilot was a few hundred thousand dollars for each one. So we sold about $600,000 worth of equipment in about three months, just from a pilot. So I thought, this is a pretty cool idea. This is a really emerging market. I resigned my position and I started um, safety vision out of my apartment. By chance, my roommate was moving out. I had a two bedroom apartment on Memorial. So that second room became available and I thought, well, if I start my company, I'll put it in that second bedroom. And I did. I literally started the company with, with a credit card and my laundry room was my warehouse. That's where I would buy products and I was you know, basically procuring every day because I was selling every day and I couldn't afford to, to put a lot, of, a lot of product into a small apartment. We worked long, long, hard hours. Um, I would get up probably at four o'clock in the morning. I wouldn't go to bed until usually midnight. My girlfriend at the time, wife today, would, would help like with mailers and all kinds of stuff that I was doing at the time because you gotta remember the times. You know, we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have email, there wasn't really a way to electronically get information out to our clients unless I sent it via fax, which was one at a time, or go to a trade show and see people, you know, face to face and see a much larger audience. So I didn't really have much choice on where I placed the company the initial, you know, few years. I made the mistake of moving into an office and it wasn't a office warehouse. The, the business grew faster than I thought it would. And we're inside this high-rise office building. We're on the ninth floor, and we're shipping out pallets of product, and we're receiving pallets of product. There's no loading dock. I recall one time we had a, a million dollar a day, and we had boxes that were stacked up, you know, five feet high, and they were took up the whole hallway of the building. The UPS driver was just shaking his head. Just, oh gosh, here we go again. We survived the five years, and we we got through our growing pains. Once I finally had an opportunity, I wanted a storefront. We're located today on the Beltway in Houston, Texas. There's about 250,000 cars that go by our building every day. I think it kind of brings credibility to the business and kind of gives that sense of pride to, I think, the employees that work here that say, oh yeah, I've seen your company before. I've seen that building, I've seen that logo, I, I've driven by before. Those humble beginnings and how you first start out are always kind of fun to look back on and kind of you, you laugh quite a bit. At the time, they were pretty, pretty nerve-wracking. Just really wanted to make sure that this business was successful. 
the long hours, the, the never giving up, and not taking the no for an answer, those were critical things for us at the time. I am Nathaniel Golden Jr. They call me the senior service technician. Bruce and I worked for Motorola. I was in tech support. A couple of years later, Bruce had been running Safe Division and he kind of mentioned to me like, can you fix some of the stuff that I'm selling? He worked with me and gave me the means. So I fixed some of the stuff and then Bruce came up with a great idea about four or five years later, said, how about we have a service department here at Safe Division? Back then it was a lot different, right? It was more like a, a fraternity. Just a couple of people, you know, it was like 20, 30 people in the beginning. Really, everybody worked 80, 90, 100 hours a week, you know, uh, trying to get things done out the door. We had basic computers, basic software. Technology was very simple. It's a closed circuit camera system, a camera, cable, monitor, very simple, analog signal. That is what it was initially. And then as we started to diversify the business into other industries, we started to get into K-12, student transportation. Well, that started out with, with uh, camcorders. Uh, we used to sell old camcorders with a, a fake mirror, and that's what we used to put inside the school bus. The little tape in the beginning of the shift, you just put the tape in, hit record, and close the two-way mirror. The students couldn't see it, but it was recording from the inside. It was recording the kids. One of our biggest selling points is the school districts didn't want to have to rewind their VCR so, tapes, so they'd send them all in, and I'd literally just sit back there for hours and push a rewind button, and then pack it up, and then ship it back out to them. When it comes to onboard video, record times have changed, retention on buses. There was a day that you know, we were excited to record for 24 full hours. Now we record, can record for months. Resolution in the cameras has drastically changed. The picture is much better, the technology. We used to sell our first digital video recording system had five frames per second. So you know you would get that kind of chop look and now you have full motion video and better on all of these vehicles from every single camera. My name is Lucius McKelvey. I'm the director of mass transit sales for the United States and Canada. Technology has given us the ability to expand in bigger markets, allow more information to be readily available, get it to people in a, in a timely fashion. It's progressed quite a bit from a very simplistic system to something that's more complicated. And what's really neat about it now is that these devices are really microcomputers. So what do you put on a computer? You put firmware and software. So now that we have literally, you know, well over a million systems out there functioning, operating today, load software on that device if it's not already on there, activate that software, providing a massive benefit to the fleet operator, showing them efficiencies, how to make their fleet operate better, driver scoring, driver coaching, passenger counting, being a hardware provider to really being a hardware provider and providing software as a service. And that's where we are today. That's the change that we've, we've made over the last number of years. During that process, and as we're um, changing how we're marking ourselves differently with that uh, software as a service model. It wasn't even brought to my attention that maybe a logo change would be considered. I think it really explains, just visually explains our future. It makes me think of something that's kind of space age. It, it's high tech. It, it doesn't show the two words safety of vision anymore, but it still says it in, in a form of an acronym. It still says it in a font that makes my mind think cutting edge. This is a progressive company. What changed? And I think this logo will entice that. I'm always someone that people can get a hold of. You know, communication is key. Being there after the sale is so important. My name is Haley Reed and I'm an account executive for Safety Vision. A big believer in the proof in the pudding method. Um, 
At the end of the day, I know that we are viewed as salespeople, no matter you know how nice or how honest we're being. So I always like to let the product and the company speak for itself. Clint Breyer, Director of Sales for the Student Transportation Division. It's understanding the customer's needs and developing a solution to those needs by, based on your product set, your services, and what offerings you have. I'm Joe McCleary, I'm the Director of Public Safety and Commercial Vehicle Sales. Well, I think doing what we say, following through with our customers, is one of the most important things that, that we do. And that's how you build a successful company, is through reputation and experiences that your customers have. And I think Safety Vision over the years has done a very good job of that. Well, you have to lead by example first. I know that I can't, if I ask my team to sweep the warehouse floor, I've got to sweep it with them. My name is Shelly DeShano and my position is Director of Operations. I empower my people to make decisions on their own. I don't, I don't need to babysit them. They're all, they're very good at their jobs. They know what they're doing. My job is just to funnel the workflow to the right person. Less micromanaging is my perspective and of course if the teams are not pulling through or coming through I don't hound them you know like a micromanager would. You just ask them for support. What do you need? You know, how, how can we get you guys back up and going? Uh, I work for them really. My name is Richard Barrett, Director of Product Development. Teach, empower, and allow an employee to grow. Being a leader is something I've learned while here. I mean I try to take it back to where are other parts of my life that I was a leader? How did I do that? What worked out well? What didn't? Um, I think it starts with making sure that everybody on your team that you're leading feels like he's not asking me to do anything that he wouldn't do or hasn't already done. As a founder, everything evolves. And then you really become, as it starts to get critical mass, you become the CEO. And in my opinion, the CEO should be the visionary, the person that says, okay, here's where we're going in the next five or 10 years. And I need to help drive that vision. You actually like being here. You like the people you're working with and Bruce has made that, that happen. And for me, as I wind my career down, not only safety, safety division has made a career for me. It's easy to say I've been here five years, been here 10 years. Now for me, over 20 years. Bruce, just because of the way that the company is ran and it's ran that way because of him allowing us to do it this way, I think it's just been a learning experience that you can't gain anywhere else, at least from the tour of safety vision that I've took. He gives you the power to be your own person, be your own employee. He lets people think outside the box, make decisions on their own, especially their ma the management team. To me, uh, that's a, a place to flourish. Safety vision has a place in my heart. You know, I was very young when I started here. I was 22 years old. Getting to know Bruce and his entrepreneurial spirit very aggressive type salesperson uh, that really had a passion for safety vision caused me to have that kind of passion for safety vision too. This is kind of a family away from my family and it always has been. There's a good group of people here and we're all driving towards one goal. I don't dread coming here. I love coming here. It's just the people make this company. So when we're always talking to great talent and trying to bring them on board, sometimes there's that well, do I go work for a smaller, nimble company like yours, or do I go work for a big corporation? Well, I can tell you firsthand, I worked for a big corporation. At the time, we were 270,000 employees, I believe. I know exactly what that felt like. I was a number. When the economy would shift, changes were made. I was fortunate to never be part of any of those changes, but I saw many corrections, many layoffs, many changes in how you were being compensated. So I never wanted to emulate that when I started my business. When I look at what do we offer different than what a big corporation offers, the fact that number one, my door is always open. Two is that I first empower most of you to make your own decision. So you don't really have to come ask me for permission. I like that. I want you to say, give me an opportunity. Let me prove to you I, I, I'm, I'm trustworthy. I make good decisions. And that's what I want to be surrounded by.
to be around for 30 years. That means a lot of people have put in a lot of their time and energy into this company. I, I don't view the business as being, this is Bruce's company. I view this as being a community. I, I believe us all working together for a common goal to be successful. I think the growth of Safety Vision year after year, uh, continuing to grow and continuing to hit our goals is probably a milestone that we've attained since I've been here or reached since I've been here and we're going to continue to reach in the future. You don't ever get bored. There's something new to learn. There's something new to look forward to. And some of the new solutions we have coming out, I think are going to put us again one step ahead of the game. And it gets really exciting to think about where we're moving forward with the addition of you know AI technology and machine learning and all the different things that uh, we can move forward with today that you know in the beginning you would never dreamed that would be we would be able to do so when i think about the growth of the business and, and where where we've been where we are and where we want to be the new branding the fact that we have software as a service provides so much more value for our customers i see that you're changing you're evolving you're 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 doing something different and i want to know what is it I want to be part of it. I want to know more about it. Educate me. This is the new era. This is the new chapter in our history. My name is Bruce Smith, and this is Safety Vision. Perfect. Wow. Thank you so much Thank for taking you.